Hello guys, it's Wednesday and guess what? Pre-patch is out. And with that we have our new talent system. So you can take a quick peek at my build. I think this is one of the best builds. The freaking one-shot people. So if you want to have some fun, you are free to copy. I don't know why this druid has so low HP. But he's probably a good healer since he's on high MMR. Let's see what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go with this shaman. Put AMS down. Grip them together and try to burst. Ah, failed. Never use that advance. My bad. Let's try to kill the priest though. Oh my god, my damage. Look at this. Please don't use this build. Just don't. It's it's not good for you. Trust me, it's not. It's only good for me. <laughs> uh, by the way, I noticed that my AMS is not being put on the the party members and I have it talented I think it's because spell warding vestigious shell I think is the name of the talent but let's get back to the game so try to do some AoE damage bursting the paladin and the warrior as well but Paladin is dead. What? Okay, round three. Let's see. Look at his HP. Already paints up. He even switched to life. Try to go freeze. Shaman a bit. This pet is nearly dead from my obliterate. I'm gonna AMZ his pens. Actually, it was too late. <laughs> Let's try to burst these two guys. Shaman is eating plenty of damage from me. Drink it. And he burrowed. He jumped and I gripped him. <laughs> Does he parry my obliterate? Yeah, kinda. Let's hit this guy. Come on, shaman. Eat my damage. Stupid. Stun him. Okay, second. Great. Now they're dead. Just narrowly. Druid. He has low HP. I mean, he barely has any gear. Kinda. It feels like it. I don't know if I can kill him. He's eating plenty of damage, but... Okay, he's using tree form. Definitely can't kill him in tree form. Dampening is not enough. Go shaman a bit. Ah, oh, the pallet wants to kill me as well. Back to 
Shaman. He's running, he's running. Time to burst in one second. Let's leave Bump. Immediately getting stunned. Come on. Ah, nice one. Let's see if we can do some AoE. Barskin already on the warrior. Come on. Go droid. He's silenced. He's so tanky, what the hell? Come on. Warrior is dying. Nope. Not lucky. Gonna blind this too. Okay. Warrior runs for the field. Silencing the shaman and he stunned him at the same time. God damn it. What a misplay. I'm cycloned. I am cyclone on me, probably because you're scared. Cyclone me again. Did some damage, come on. No, I was about to Sindragosa. Could have win it if I press it a bit earlier. Then he cast the hex. They really go hard on the shaman. This guy wants to cyclone me? No thanks. You all. Now, come here. Eat my damage. Look at them. They are literally using all their defensives. This is the true burst of a Frost EK now. Of course, uh, Frost EK is not gonna be this strong. When you hit level 80, probably, because you will have less haste mastery. And right now I get bonus damage from my 4 tier set bonus. So that's why it feels this strong. It's probably gonna be a bit weaker once you hit level 80. Let's go again, anyway burst. So with that in the cave, you can even hit the druid if he uses tranquility. Beneath the ice and snow, a legend awakens. I am Arthas, the Lich King ruler of the damned master of Frostmourne. 